Five days have passed in Haystown at the dawn of the morning. A sharply dressed young Caucasian man with dark blonde hair, who happens to be Jacob's fancy boy, is standing outside in the streets with his men setting up for the big event and tweaking his pistol in private. Are you guys done already? The show is about to start and I can't wait another five years of greatness from me. Jacob said while waiting impatiently. Just in, Jacob's butler, Timsworth, an older, dark-skinned gentleman in his late fifties, shows up with Jacob's gun. Here you go, sir. I have your special pistol all tweaked, loaded, and cleaned up, said Timsworth while handing Jacob's his gun. Excellent. What about everything else for the event, Timsworth? said Jacob's after receiving his gun. All the stuff for the contest and after party is done being set up. Timsworth responded. Finally. Jeez, took their asses long enough. Said Jacobs in a relieved and passive-aggressive tone. Just then, Rough Edge walks into town and meets up with Jacobs before the start of the event. So, Big Cheese, are you ready for this year's little showdown? Asked Rough Edge, a confident tone of speaking. <laughs> I didn't know your kind would be participating. Jacob smugly remarks. Rough Edge comments. Well, I saw an opening and I took it, so why not? Rough Edge said. I take you on and beat your ass easily, kid. You won't stand a chance. Responded Jacobs in a prideful manner. <laughs> we'll see about that. Rough Edge said while smiling. And so, both Rough Edge and Jacobs began the competition with the shoot the most moving targets part of the contest. Jacobs manages to shoot four of the targets. Then Rough Edge took his turn and shot the same number of targets. Both competitors tie in the first round. Then in the next event, both Rough Edge and Jacobs decided to go to a bull riding event to see how long they could stay on the bull. Jacobs went on the bull and lasted for a whole minute while before falling off, while Rough Edge lasted only 40 seconds, he fell into a pile of bullshit. Jacobs wins the bull riding part of the event. <laughs> See, I am better than you, Jose. Just give up and go back to your farm. I'm the best. Jacobs boasted. Not quite. We still got more events to go through. I'm about to give you my A game. Rough Edge replied. The third match of the contest starts with a horse race within the town. Both contestants rode their horses at breakneck speed through the town to reach the finish. Rough Edge by a hair manages to beat Jacobs in the race. See? I told you I'm being serious about winning as much as you! Rough Edge said after winning the horse race. Ah, shut up! This isn't over yet! Besides, we're going to be starting the final event soon, and I'll run this town for five more years, and it will be an easy victory, Jacobs ranted. The final event with a gun duel between the two men begins with both of them standing still, looking at each other tensely. Draw! Both men exclaimed as they both pulled out their guns at the same time. However, just before Jacobs took out his gun to fire, it was then shot out of his hand by Rough Edge in a quick manner. No way! Jacobs screamed. <laughs> you sure as hell talked a big talk. But guess that was for show. Rough Edge says while putting his gun back into his holder. Just then, the crowd of people watching the event cheered as they saw the final results of the contest with Rough Edge being declared the new sheriff of Hayestown. As Jacob is in disbelief at the fact that he lost the contest and his title as sheriff, despite having the slight edge against his rival. As he was watching the crowds cheer for their new sheriff. This is bullshit! Jacob screamed in anger. Ah, oh, come on, bro. You were the cock of the walk for five years. No need to be sour about losing. Rough Edge comments happily while being carried by the crowd and then leaves with them. Don't talk to me! You just got lucky, you son of a bitch! Yelled Jacob. Jeez, no need to be a boner killer for losing to my brother. You were cool as well commented Antonio while putting his hand around Jacob's shoulder. Touch me again, and you'll be dead, you piece of shit! 
yelled Jacob while throwing Antonio's hand off of him. Oh, okay, bye. Jeez, don't have to be a dick about it. Said Antonio. God damn it! Fuck fucking shit! Screamed Jacobs in pure rage. Forget it. I'm gonna get a drink at the bar. Said Jacobs in a defeated tone while heading to the bar to drink his problem. 